And welcome back. And we've got us a little fan package here. This is actually sent to us by one of our top mods, Hunter. This is from the Sauce Leopard. And this is the Skyrider Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. Probably focusing on you and Ghost Pepper. Oi. Look at the sauce, not at her. <laughs> Look at the sauce, not at her. Don't do that! Ghost riders in the sky. It has cinnamon in it, so I'm cinnamon. intrigued. Yes. It says sweet, tangy, hot, and smoky. Let's find out. And this is actually um, a local sauce for her. It's in Denver, Colorado. And apparently the um, sauce maker also um, did the drawings himself. Oh no, does this not have a... Oh, it does. Good. It's got that edge. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's... Like, it's pretty impressive where, like, people are coming out with good hot sauces. I would, me, I just think of California because all this peppers and everything. A lot of, like, the Reapers, though, that's all, like, back in the East Coast, North Carolina. All right, let's see if it pops. A little bit. Woo! 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 Ow! That smells really good. Let's see. Ooh, that smells savory as hell. Mm -hmm. Get yourself some. This reminds me like it would go good with chili. I, I can see that. Maybe some, uh, actually, you know what? It's not, it seems like that'd be good on tamales. Oh. I mean, we'll see what it tastes like, but. Thank goodness it's not runny. It's a nice thick, oh, it's nice thick. It's got that beautiful consistency. Mm -hmm. Here we go, try it out. Well, it's almost like a Heinz 57 sauce. Mm -hmm. Shh, this would go good. On, I love steak. Steak, yep. <laughs> I love steak so much. Good on a nice brisket or something like that. This brisket sandwich. It'd probably go good on chicken too. Yeah. I'd say a um, good rotisserie. I like, I like like the, it's got like a, it got like almost like a mustardy profile on the back end. I'm just I, trying really to get like. more of the heat. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to find. Well, it's okay if it's not blowing your doors off. I mean, because well, I know uh, it's subtle. It is subtle. I mean, I'm definitely getting some heat out of it. Not a lot, but I'm getting some. Here we go. I caught a seed. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, God. you know that you know that the heat doesn't derive from the seeds. <laughs> That's what people are going to tell you in the comments because they know everything. You do. I'm stupid. You're smart. I was wrong. You were right. It does have that mustard feel. Yeah, after the taste though, I don't. I, I kind of retract my tamales statement. Yeah, no, I won't go with tamales. No, not tamales. Like um, smell wise, with, with but rotisserie. That's a good steak sauce. Now this would be great Bar on steak, beef. Just barbecue in general. Like maybe, like you said, mix it again with a, a little bit of with a chili or something like that. Meatball sub. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like. Yeah, we have a winner. <laughs> I eat three every day to help keep me strong. I but... like how the ghost pepper's not like right there because I'm not a huge Well, anymore. I mean, it's it's down the list in but terms of the I peppers. Taste, I taste the habanero. Let me see if I can try and... That's why I needed a second helping. Because it looked like every taste I had a different, you know, ingredient pop up. Oh, but I know which uh, Mexican dish. Uh, mole. Mole, 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 mole. It's like a rich, earthy, mm -hmm. and it's peanut butter chocolate. I'm like, ooh, this kind of will blend well with it. Huh. Well, I'm a fan though, for sure. It's good. Yep, absolutely. I'm kind of curious. I'm about to, about to check Get out their site after this and see what other offerings they have. Get some uh, wings going. <laughs> barbecue wings or like I would just say, yeah, put some barbecue food. wings on there, slather Turkey that on there. Drumsticks. I mean, heat wise, what would you? I mean, what would you say like heat wise? I mean, I maybe I'd, like a three. I'd say make no more than that. Yeah. I'd say no more than that, like maybe a two or a three, I would think. Like, like I, I was thinking more of a two, but it'd be no more than a three. Yeah. But that's good in a sauce like this though, because the with the, the savoriness and the flavors and whatnot, it's gonna pair so well with so many different um, meat dishes. Mm -hmm. Well, Hunter, 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. And um, she sent us out uh, previously. She sent us out uh, Murphs, and I know you. I know you like your Murphs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, us, I, so. I have like every single one. All right. Well, this has been a fan package. Thanks again to Hunter. Uh, go check out Sauce Leopard. I'll put the link in the description. This sauce is the Sky Rider. It was an homage to the classic country western song Ghost Riders in the Sky. And uh, I'm not gonna sing it because I'm not Mad Zion. It's so tight, huh? Thanks all for tuning in. Check out the Sauce Leopard. Good stuff. And uh, stay tuned. We might do a top five hot sauce video pretty soon. Who knows? You guys always ask us what our favorite hot sauces are, so we'll just do a video about it. <laughs> Whip them all. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna whip them out. <laughs> oh, my mouth. <laughs> Alright, see you next time.